Hello? Hello. Is this Francis Starr? Yes. Who's this? Hi. My name is Art Fisher, and I'm a huge fan of your work. Oh, thanks. How did you get this I number? was just reading online that you are making a documentary about Simon Finch, and I just wanted to ask if you wanted my help. Uh, listen, I don't know who you are, but regardless, it doesn't matter. After he died, we're fast-tracking and releasing this documentary online in 12 hours. Oh, uh... Well, then, maybe your next documentary, then. Uh, no, I, I may not be the best at booking. Uh, full disclosure, I, I have been banned from Twitter and email. But uh, I really have a sincere passion for documentaries, and I... Oh, listen, I don't need any help. I've been working on documentaries for years. I won an Oscar. I have no idea who you are. My team and I have perfected this down to a science. Thanks for reaching out, but no. Oh. Well then. Also, how did you get banned from email? Hello. My name is Art Fisher and we're about to do something amazing. We have 12 hours to make and premiere a documentary about Simon Finch before Francis Starr does the exact same thing. I'm going to make the greatest documentary the world has ever seen. To begin our journey of beating Francis Starr, I had to research Simon Finch. I knew that he was a famous comic artist beloved for his comic strip, Bernadette. Hello, uh, I was calling to see if you wanted to speak about Simon Finch for my new movie. Care to speak for a few minutes about Simon Finch and his comic, Bernadette? Hello, hello? Talk to me about Simon Finch, please, hello? Hello. Simon Finch speaking. What do you think of me? Hello? Can you talk to me about Simon Finch, please? I remembered, though, that there were certain people who had to talk to me. Hello, 911. What is your emergency? Hi, I'm documentarian Art Fisher, and I'm wondering if you would like to speak to me about Simon Finch for this new documentary that I'm filming. What is this, sir? Is this an emergency? Yeah, really big emergency. This turned out to be another dead end. Thankfully, I had one more trick up my sleeve. Adam! What's up? Who is this? It, it's your uncle. Oh, hey. Uh, everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Say, what are you doing right now? Adam, how do you feel Bernadette compared to the other comics of its day? Bernadette was funny in a way that the comics usually weren't. I get it, but more intense. Bernadette was funny in a way that the comics usually weren't. To learn more, I consulted an expert. It was great. It was great. And every strip ended the same way. Bernadette's mom would yell at her, and then Bernadette would say, I have to go to the bathroom. Every strip. I think it was the exact same line. Garfield hates Mondays, Charlie Brown good griefs, and Bernadette has to go to the bathroom. Hello, is this Orchard Cavern Elderly Housing? Yes, who is this? Hi, my name is Art Fisher and I'm hoping to speak to Helen Swansa, former teacher of Simon Finch. What's your relationship with her? Documentarian. I, I want to interview her for a documentary that I'm filming. Oh, um, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Helen isn't doing so well memory-wise these days, and well, to be frank, she might not be capable of consenting. And so, it might not be right to have her on camera, as she's not sure what she's saying. Yeah, oh, I, I hear you. He loved animals, yeah. and often, they were having sex with each other with the, in his drawings. I had only six hours left. I had already used half the day and I still didn't have anything on Simon's childhood. From my research, I learned that Simon's house was a troubled one. 
He was, after all, the child of singer Lorraine Gray, lead singer of Washington Helicopter, whose members consisted of Lorraine, Josie, Kat, and Rabbi Avraham Goldfarb. Lorraine went solo and started producing increasingly blunt album titles, such as The Kid is an Anchor Around My Neck, My Child, The Manhole Cover, and I Fucking Hate My Second Child. We had just a few hours left, and I thought it would really help our documentary if we had an academic. And luckily, I had just the person. Hi, Ruth! Who is this? Hi, this is Art Fisher. Yeah, I, I made the commercials. Yes, for... I remember. Why are you calling? Yeah, well, I see, I, I'm making a documentary, and I was wondering if I could have 15 minutes of your time to, to speak about Lorraine Gray, the, the singer. I can do that, but I do have one condition. Well, great, yeah, uh, anything. And I need it in writing. Oh, Lorraine Gray was quite a sensation. In my new book, New York, I love you, but you're bringing me down. The history of New York is told through its music. I talk about the pop world and its emergence. I felt good about having a professor in my documentary, and I wanted to see what Francis Starr had on the matter. So I did what any sensible competitor would do. I went undercover as a high schooler to ask him if I could see his documentary. Hello. Hello. I am a local high school boy, and I would love to see your movie for my school paper. Who is this? Uh, I love drinking under the legal age. I recall when I first encountered Bernadette in college. I mean, it was amazing. What? What is this? It's a, a girl in the newspapers, in our comics, being silly. What was this? was this? This was good. He was a worthy documentary opponent in our game of three-dimensional documentary chess. I would have to up my game. Be My Valentine Bernadette was named Schlon Magazine's top book of 1984. The next year, Simon debuted his animated holiday special, A Very Bernadette Chinese New Year. He developed this classic during the height of the AIDS crisis and really wanted to use his platform for good. Chinese New Year, Chinese New Year. And now I know the meaning of Chinese New Year. We, we have, have AIDS. AIDS. Simon was at his peak, but it was 1991 and his mother had just released her latest album, My Son, The Disappointment. And Simon was looking for love. And that's when he entered into a sexual relationship with his sister's adopted daughter, Yoon Si. Time was running out. And to properly talk about Simon's relationship with his adopted niece, we'd need a miracle. An interview with Simon's sister and Yoon's mother, Barbara. Luckily, she lived in the area and sat down to an interview. And I know that some of you are thinking, isn't that famed New York character actress and Emmy-nominated Jackie Hoffman? Jackie Hoffman. That is Jackie Hoffman. Jackie oh, Hoffman is here. But no, it's not her. As Barbara, how would you describe your relationship between your brother Simon and your daughter you? And remember, sad. He was involved in her interests and in her life. He started voting in every Kids' Choice Awards. I remember how excited he was when Rosie O'Donnell got slimed. I've never seen anyone so happy. Simon was egged on by his relationship, and his strips started to get even better. The comics became fun. They became funny. And they really started to feel important. Adam, uh, do you want to introduce... Oh yeah, this is uh, Sarah. She's my girlfriend and uh, the biggest Bernadette fan I know. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> yeah, you are. You've read so many of the strips, like at least 40. Adam, you're, no, you're making you this a big deal. Tell them. Tell them. No. <laughs> Sarah's a bit of a comic artist herself. No, no, no I'm not actually a comic yeah, artist. She's working I on a strip did... where like, there's this alternate universe where all people look the same until they have to come out as their ethnicity. Adam, can you please And then there's this girl, Francesca, about... who uh, has to come out to her parents as Native American and they just won't accept her. It, it's totally dope. You'd love it. It's not, it's stupid, it's not dope. It's, it's awesome and it's totally influenced by Bernadette, right? No, not really. No? 
Subconsciously it is. The last thing we needed was to discuss Simon's tragic ending. Nobody knows how. God knows why. But Yoon Finch, Simon's muse, Simon's love, Simon's niece, tragically died in a ball pit in a Chuck E. Cheese. And Simon Finch would never be the same. The strips became unreadable. She, um, Bernadette, would keep blaming the government and Zionists and she was saying things like, uh, Rosie O'Donnell was slimed only as a way to make you forget that love never lasts. Now, if you'll excuse me, she says, I have to go to the bathroom. The comic started talking about lizard people. He said 9-11 was a hoax. He felt that the Civil War was invented to sell breeding cars. Was so sad. Two months later, Simon Finch was found dead in his bathtub, having overdosed on six bottles of NyQuil. Simon Finch was many things, an artist, an AIDS crisis warrior, a practitioner of borderline incest. Death is a great riddle, but as Simon taught us, oh, so many times. Sooner or later, we all have to go to the bathroom. My son, the disappointment, he's the reason I believe in late-term abortion. I had just 15 minutes left. I had to finish recording my last voiceover and make a last minute phone call. And with 10 minutes remaining, I began uploading to YouTube.com, which as anyone who's done this before knows, is a harrowing process. The clock was ticking. There were only 10 minutes left and... I had done it. I, Art Fisher, had beaten Francis Starr by 10 minutes. I had the very first documentary about Simon Finch. Your move, Francis. Bop, 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 bop,